Our product is QuickTherm Connect, and what it is is it's two inches of expanded polystyrene foam with a built-in wood insert, as you can see uh, behind me, at, located at 16 inches. So this is ideal for the connectivity point of view, to attach it to the structure, and also to allow the cladding to be attached to the product. One thing that QuickTherm Installation provides is full-scale modeling with our testing. While some installation products will just test that single product, it doesn't take into account, let's say, the wood studs, the windows, whatever it might be. With QuickTherm, we want to test the whole wall profile, and that's what they're doing with the Wilden Living Lab here. Putting sensors in the walls and actually seeing what it performs like in a real-life model. When new innovation comes out, a lot of contractors are very resistant to that change. When the 2010 building code came out, energy efficiency was a major part of that. The reality was homes had to be built better. I look at this project and I look at the young contractors coming up looking at outsolation as an alternative or a, an, an advancement to the energy efficiency of a building. It starts at the beginning of some of these young people's careers, getting them to understand different ways of building buildings, better ways of building buildings. The value of this project is great. It's a precedent for not only our company, but for the industry in general. We really don't see many buildings like this doing these side-by-side -side comparisons between the minimum building code, which is essentially the minimum, not the best way to build, compared to the home of tomorrow that we're gonna to be seeing a lot more and more in the coming years.